What is going on guys? It is Sean from Double Clutch HD coming at you with episode 4 of the Oregon Ducks Dynasty. We're going to be facing off against the Tennessee Volunteers in Autzen Stadium. Rocking those nice chrome helmets with the yellow jerseys and black pants. And we're going to be taking on an unranked Tennessee team, but they are 2-0. And uh, they are a very tough team to beat. And as you can see, looking at our offensive ranks, we are ninth in pass offense, rush, fifth in rush offense, ninth in passing touchdowns, and fourth in rushing touchdowns. So a very balanced offense for us. And we're ranking pretty high, uh, but again, then again, we are the number five team in the nation. And we've been performing very well so far. We blew out the uh, FCS Southeast Pirates the first week. And we beat a pretty good t Virginia team by a considerable mar margin, but they were no test for us. But Tennessee should be a tougher test uh, because they are a better team, I believe, than Virginia and a lot better team than FCS Southeast. So Tennessee has fallen off lately. Uh, they used to be ranked pretty high when I started watching college football, but it looks like their football program is... Uh, on the not exactly on the decline they've kind of reached the lowest point i i hope uh, i think and i think they'll be coming up pretty soon as uh they're gonna try to get some uh nice young players onto their roster and yeah i remember oregon played them last year and lamichael james had a field day so let's see how they fare this year and yeah we're gonna go to the coin toss and they are going to receive the ball which is kind of surprising, but um, third and three. Here's Vance War. I don't, I don't even know his first name. Zach Warley, I think. But we're gonna uh, stop the running back for a loss. Fourth and four, and Rajon Neal is gonna be stopped right there before he can go pretty much anywhere. So third and twelve. Looks like our drive is about to halt right here. Marcus Mariota is gonna call a screen play. It's kind of no. It's not gonna work. The pressure got to him. The blockers did not pick up any of their blocks and the pass wasn't complete anyway so third and eight in our territory we're gonna be looking to stop them right here anything from five or uh, three to five yards is acceptable uh that's exactly what we're going to do but the wide receiver drops the ball as that was a huge hit uh by the cornerback right there and they're gonna be going for a field goal here a considerably long field goal for college but and the kicker is going to drill that right through the almost through the middle and we're they're gonna have a three nothing lead looks can it be an upset uh, we'll see about that Mario that gets sacked right there no pass protection whatsoever by his o-line which has been very good so far but they couldn't get anything going that drive either so now Worley he's on a triple option Regia Neal has some daylight 40 30 20 to the 10 and touchdown but there is a flag on the play let's see what it is it is offsides so that is going to be uh that is going to be declined and that's going to be a touchdown for the vols anyway so oregon finds themselves down 10 nothing um a bit they, they're a little shell shocked right now uh playing in their own stadium they should be able to win this one and it's picked off by gordon Marcus Mariota having a tough game so far with the Oregon offense. Tennessee has already has a 10-point lead, an unranked team, and they're, they're going to be looking to push that lead to seven, 13 or even 17. As the first quarter comes to an end, Oregon has struggled mightily so far, but they're going to get the ball back. 6.08 left in the second quarter. Third and two. DeAnthony gets the draw, but he's not going to go anywhere. Actually going to lose a couple yards. And <laughs> look at that celebration right there. Doing the army crawl. I like that. But uh, here's Alejandro Maldonado. Going to be looking for the field goal. And it's missed. Wide right. Oh my goodness. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? The Oregon offense cannot get anything going. Third and 13, they're going to be looking for a screen pass, but that is picked up right there by the nice lineman. And that is going to be fourth and 13. Uh, looks like they're going to be going for another field goal. Can they push it to a 13-point lead before half? The kick is up, and it is good. The long distance right there. Good job by the Vols to get 13 points on the board. 
and Oregon is on serious upset alert. Um, they they haven't they've won a couple of games pretty easily, but now this is their first test against Tennessee. That's a nice first down right there as Josh Huff picks up his third reception of the game. Marcus Mariota, 146 yards, but one pick has cost the Ducks dearly as he hasn't been able to get anything going. But it looks like this drive is still alive. They're going to need to put some points on the board before half and maybe get the ball back before then. So he's going to throw it to B.J. Kelly right there. Good pass. Uh, the defender, the safety was late coming over the help. And B.J. Kelly gets an easy touchdown right there. Marcus Mariota, good job right there. That is picked off by Hill, and he is off to the races. Quarterback's not going to catch him. Dives into the end zone, and the Oregon Ducks suddenly have a 14-13 lead. Well, that escalated quickly, but <laughs> but still, second quarter, 2:04. They're going to get the ball again. Worley and the Tennessee. Uh, volunteers they find themselves struggling now as DeAnthony has some open light oh the black mamba is deadly in that open area 26 yard reception one 116 left in the second quarter now second and ten clock is ticking we need to get something here Mario they're trying to orchestrate the offense to a touchdown 106 left in the second quarter he's got to get the playoff he's gonna give it to Lyurla Colt Lyurla with a nice touchdown right there good job to hang on with the defender right in his face but Tennessee is gonna try to answer right here really oh nice pass he had two two receivers right there and at the end there is the other receiver tripped up the uh the the receiver and but they still managed to hang on they're gonna be going for two um okay I, I kind of get that but, yeah, he's going to get it, actually. So, good call by the Tennessee offense. And they're going to tie the game back up before halftime. Unless we can put something on the board before half. And it looks like we might be able to. Nine seconds left. Can we get a completion? Yes, we can. Cannon low. Good job. 21-yard reception. Five seconds left. Call that last time out. Maybe take a shot at the end zone. Um, no, we're, we're, gonna, we're just going to kick the field goal. We didn't want to take the risk. Just in case we ran out of time, you know. But, oh no. Oh no, Maldonado completely boots that left. It looks like we could have had a shot for another uh, touchdown right there. But, it's okay. Uh, we're going to head into the second quarter. Uh, tied at 21. Tennessee, I mean, they'll take it. But, they realize that they could have a much bigger lead than this right now. Because, this is nothing. Oregon came back, had a 21-point swing at one point. And we're going to be starting the third quarter. DeAnthony Thomas, the Black Mamba. Oh, he's going to get the outside. When he gets the outside, you, you j just go back to your bench. You are done. Get some Gatorade and, yeah. <laughs> DeAnthony takes it to the house. 104-yard return right there. And apparently that's the longest in college, which it is not. But DeAnthony, he's, whenever we're down or... We, we were down before. DeAnthony somehow gets mad, and he gets touchdowns for whatever reason. But Worley, he's going to get stopped right there on the QB option. Third and 16, losing three yards on the play. Trying to do some trickeration on the defense. Not going to happen, though. But they're going to get close. And this time, Worley's going to be more successful as the big quarterback dives into the end zone for a touchdown. That's going to tie the game back up. Oregon is not out of the woods yet. Third and six, 314 left in the third quarter. Marcus Mariota going to be looking for another screenplay, but nothing there. Oh, no. Another pick. As he saw, he did, He realized the pressure was, wasn't coming. So he tried to dump it off to a receiver other than DeAnthony, who probably wouldn't have gotten anywhere anyway. But another turnover in the red zone. But the Oregon Ducks are going to get the ball back. Good defensive tackle by Cordero Patterson. I think that's his name. And that's our best cornerback on the team. Six seconds left, five seconds. DeAnthony is not going to go anywhere with that rush. But that's going to lead us to the end of the third quarter. Tennessee has, is tied with Oregon. And the only offense we could produce was that nice uh, touchdown by DeAnthony. And Tennessee only put up seven points that quarter, too. Um, so I guess we're okay for right now, but third and five, 740 left in the fourth quarter. We need to get a score or something right here. Oh, this is a great call by the offensive coordinator as the blitz was coming and Daryl Hawkins 
catches the ball and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. As Marcus Mariota has has had his up and downs today. Three touchdowns but two picks. And yeah, other than DeAnthony, uh, the only potential the Ducks have for Heisman would be Marcus Mariota. But Van Justin War Justin Worley, sorry. He's going to be sacked for 10 yards right there. Taylor Hart on the tackle as, or the sack actually. Good job right there, but third and 19. Worley, he's looking downfield, going to throw it. Oh, almost caught by Carter. Wouldn't have been a first down anyway. But still, it is now fourth and 19, and they definitely won't be going for it on that. 546 left in the fourth quarter. Can the Ducks do anything this drive? Oh, no. Randolph with another with another interception for the Tennessee Volunteers and Marcus Mariota has struggled mightily today throwing three picks but throwing three touchdowns so uh, Worley's gonna get sacked again the defense has stepped up big time for the Oregon Ducks today as they've got gotten Tennessee into long yardage situations not allowing anything on second down or third down and forcing punts for the Oregon offense, even though they're making mistakes, to try and get back in this game. Well, they're in. Well, they have a touchdown lead right now, but they've been turning the ball over so much that it seems like we're losing. But that was a nice pass to Josh Huff right there, on, uh, on as he was trying to scramble. But Byron Marshall is now in the game, and he's gonna get the touchdown run right there. That's gonna put us up by 14 with 1:31 left in the fourth quarter. So Worley now, 31 seconds left. He needs to get a touchdown and not going to get it. The wide receiver steps out of bounds before he even gets, before he gets one of his, one of, even one of his feet down. In college, it's only one foot, man. Come on, you got to get at least that on the ground. But Worley on fourth and goal is going to get sacked. Tennessee has no more timeouts and only 24 seconds left. We just need to kneel it once and this game is pretty much done. As you see, a nice sack right there. But Mario is going to hand it off to Byron Marshall. Marshall is going to fight forward for six yards right there. But that's going to end the game. The Oregon Ducks will walk out of Austin. Uh, had a bit of a scare in that game because uh, they found themselves down 13 points quickly. But, ma f but somehow managed to find a way to persevere. And fight their way back into the game. That he, that interception by Hill was absolutely huge. After Oregon got that touchdown, Tennessee they realized that they could get back on the board and try to you know try to get some more points on the board and maybe uh, get the momentum back. But that interception completely sw swung the game onto Oregon's side. And as you see, I'm going to be picking the Road Warriors skill. Because just because anti freeze, I mean, I'm not going to be going into too much clutch situations with my kicker. And so, yeah. We're going to be looking for another upgrade for Nick Aliotti, our defensive coordinator. And let's see which one we pick. Charge or road closed? Or, yeah, I'm going to go with road closed for that one. Just because our defense has been, he's been decent on the run. I think it's one of the best in the league. But our pass offense, man, is just terrible. Uh, pass defense, excuse me. Um, but Scott Frost, I'm going to go with the up-tempo uh, the up -tempo, uh, upgrade. Sorry, it's a long commentary, guys. But um, we're going to be still ranked fourth. Um, I'm not sure if this is before I simulated or after I simulated. So we might be jumping in up in the standings after the win today. And this video is coming to an end, guys. So... Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, it's, it, it was a pleasure to commentate this video. And, um, as you see, DeAnthony is second on the board for Heisman Watch. And I'm hoping he can win the Heisman, maybe. But, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, favorite, if you want to. I don't, I don't really care about favorites. But if you want to see more of this series, just keep li hitting that like button. I will definitely deliver. And yeah, I'll see you guys around later, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later, guys. Goodbye.